The following podcast is brought to you by the Jonas Podcasting Network, found exclusively at wrestlingwithjonas.com. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Wrestling With Jonas Live, episode 224. And today I'm joined by a returning guest, the wonderful, the amazing, the alpha female, Jazzy Gabbert. So Jazzy, great to have you back on the show, a returning Hi. guest. So how are you doing? Hi, thank you for having me. Hey, everybody watching. Um, yeah, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very good and even better now that we're talking again. Almost 12 months to the day since we last had you on the show. What, what a coincidence. But uh, today we're going to be talking not so much about yourself, but about your new wrestling promotion, Zerius Sports Entertainment, over there in Germany. Um, but uh, you, you're about uh, a week away, about eight days away from your debut show. Now, when we last spoke last February... You, you said that it would be February 2022, and that was correct. And we're now eight days away from the debut of your um, Zerius Sports Entertainment. Um, how are you feeling so close to going uh, for your debut show next Sunday? Yeah, isn't it crazy? Like, we waited two years for it. I think that's the longest tease debut ever. You yeah. know, like, we wanted <laughs> to start in 2020, and now we have, like, two years later. And finally, I mean, nobody can take it away from me anymore in eight days to go. I'm super crazy excited. It's unbelievable. Um, now I understand my fellow promoters <laughs> because, you know, like, I met them, and they were so freaking nervous and they were like i'm getting a heart attack and i'm like why everything is chill but now i can feel it i'm nervous like hell i mean everything is sorted like everything is fine we can run tomorrow but yeah it's so ah <laughs> yes i'm sure the nerves are definitely there um but to, for anybody watching live at home i want to get in touch with the show I want to say hi to jazzy uh, i want to ask jazzy a question about her career or about zeria sports entertainment which is what we're here for today then please get in touch send your question through your chosen device and we'll do our best to answer every question live on air whether you're watching us on youtube twitch or facebook live get in touch we want you to say hi to Jazzy. Um, but yep. as we said, we're about a week away from Zerius mm -hmm. Sports Entertainment going live, mm -hmm. Jazzy. Um, how are preparations? Uh, are you kind of in the final touches phase? Uh, have you got anything final kind of that, that you need to uh, sort out before next Sunday? How How's the prep going? Yeah, actually, no. I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm. I can start now. Like uh, a day before and Saturday, we will go inside of the venue. Yeah. Uh, I have to think about a little bit if I will center the ring or if I will put it more to the left or right because my ring is not in the middle of the, uh, you know, of the arena it's like on stage so it will be like a cinema you know well, yeah yeah you see it there so there we go um so we have like a huge Titan Tron in the back and then there will be the ring somewhere and then these chairs where, which I'm sitting on will be there. So it's going to be like a theater. So, and I'm really excited on Saturday we can go in. I want to have a golden ring. So it fits all to the, you know, to the whole venue and, and to the theme. And yeah, I, I actually did the canvas myself. Like I went to a woman, I said, hey, do you have time to do it? And she's like, no way, you have to do it yourself. So she lent me the machines, you know, that I can sew it. So it was really exciting. And yeah, so just get prepared for the ring and everything, but everything else, like the music video for the wrestlers, um, the entrances are all, and yeah, everything is sorted. Absolutely. And <laughs> um, when we spoke last year, Jazzy, you, you, you kind of uh, laid out your vision for Zeria Sports Entertainment and you mentioned the theatre um, and it is the town hall in um, uh, Ballingen. Ballingen, right? yeah. It's ah, in Germany, yeah. Ballingen, yeah. It's That's a right. cute little, t uh, you know, town hall and I live here, like in the city. That's why I choose it. Um, and I thought for the first show, I will go like local because um, people don't know wrestling that well. And many of them will watch wrestling the first time. But they come actually because like I'm a little bit famous in the city where I live and they just want to support me. And 440 people said I'm coming to the show. 
I think about 300 of them never saw wrestling before. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, and we spoke a little bit off air, and you said that the the full capacity of the town hall is around eight hundred. Um, yeah. You've got a fifty percent occupancy because of the pandemic, of course. Yeah. So you're going to have four hundred, four hundred and fifty fans in there, and for a debut show, that's that's a really good turnout, isn't it? I bet you're pleased with four hundred plus people. Well, to be honest, like the pandemic, you know, it's the reason why we cannot sell out the arena. It's only, as you said, 50 percent. But I do believe I could have easily made maybe six or seven hundred. So I'm a little bit upset because, you know, a lot of money is getting lost. Uh, Money I wanted to use for the next show Um, because, yeah, I'm planning many, many shows. (laughs) So this is just the start and it's called the big bang because it's going to be you know the first show the first of everything and yeah like that's why i also do fight you know like on fight tv they can watch it live and i hope a lot of people are going to watch it so yeah like we can you know make money so i can pay the wrestlers and and, and everyone that is involved in the show yeah, but yeah i do, hope do like, more shows off the back of it you know the more absolutely. successful the first show the more shows you can do in the future yeah so we we talked before the government is you know having um another how you say in english like they're talking again on the yes. 14th on valentine's day so i pray to god that i will get a special valentine's gift and they say that i can open up the whole arena so we can have like more people coming to the show so that will be like my dream but if not still they can watch it live on fight tv exactly that and, and that's a, a really big deal that you've got uh, fight tv showing zero sports entertainment live as well live 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 <laughs> um, i think it's yeah. nine, nine pounds 99 over here in the uk mm-hmm, it's going to be mm-hmm. around the same uh, over in germany and uh, in continental europe of course um so such a great deal having fight tv yeah. but um tell us about the, the stage we, we we've spoken yeah. about uh yeah. the town hall it's a very grand venue isn't it it's a very beautiful venue yeah. the ring is going to be up on the stage yeah. you're going to have your golden thrones there you say that the, the yeah. ring is going to be golden as well um mm-hmm. but the theme of Zeria sports entertainment i think we spoke before and it was a very um like a circusy very entertainment very pantomime yeah. uh, so, yeah. so explain the theme of Zeria sports entertainment for anybody that might not have heard last uh, our, our interview last time yeah, so so my idea is, so I'm an alien, as you see with the eyes and everything. I'm an alien, and I come to this earth, and I touch down to Zirius Sports Entertainment, and everything will be like a, a theme. This theme for this show will be a royal, and it's going to be kind of a Moulin Rouge style, you know. Uh. There will be entertainment with dancers and singers and live music and, yeah, this uh, royal seats. There will be a red carpet and this is like my theme for this one, but for the next one, maybe I want to do a medieval show or like a Japanese show or Italian show, you know, like always a theme. Um, and that's like my idea for the future. That's <laughs> and absolutely the, fantastic. Coming back to fight, I just want to say... Um, it will be live of course but it will also have commentators and it's going to have commentators for the english watching people and it will be al snow and katarina waters so katarina speaks german because like the little special thing on my show is what i want that we only speak german like and use as many german slang as possible because we have other companies here in germany who already use a lot of english terms you know but german wrestling actually has a you know a history here in my country so that's what i want and katarina water speaks german so she can translate it to english and then el snow and her can back and forth so even the viewers from outside germany will have a lot of fun watching the show Oh, that's going to be wonderful to have Katrina yeah. and Al on commentary for the uh, uh, for the English uh, audience at home, but uh, live on Fight TV next Sunday. Uh, what time does it all start, Jazzy? Um, for, in German time, it will be five thirty, so it's like four thirty oh, in your time, right? In the UK, and I think Absolutely. like in New York or something, eleven Sunday morning, eleven o'clock. So 
it's perfect bedtime watching, you know, like when you wake up in the morning, can I have a coffee and watch Zero Sports Entertainment? Yeah, and, and, and 9 99 you can't go wrong with that price. It's uh, uh, definitely, definitely worth uh, paying for to see a fantastic afternoon of uh, wrestling entertainment uh, from a brand new wrestling promotion. What more could you ask for? We've had our uh, first uh, viewer get in touch. Um, they yeah. haven't put their name, but a uh, Facebook user asks, uh, hello, Jazzy, are you coming over to the UK yeah. soon? We'd love to have you back over here in the UK. Uh, any plans to come and see your friends mm. uh, over here in the UK? Our friends for sure, like for a visit, of course, but wrestling unfortunately is not possible at the moment because I'm injured. I injured my shoulder and it ripped all off and for some reason the healing process is not going so well and I still can't use my arm so it kind of sucks. But I don't know, maybe if my show is going well and someone from the UK who has a lot of money wants to book me to prepare a serious show in the UK damn I'm on I, I, I'm going to do that <laughs> there we go well hopefully there's uh, one or two UK promoters uh, watching or listening to this uh, get in touch yeah. with myself or with Jazzy uh, and yeah. we'll see what we can do for sure um, but uh, we've got to throw a quick sponsors plug Jazzy uh, to awesome. our fantastic sponsors 1310 Apparel who are the amazing sponsors of the Wrestling with Jonas podcast and the Jonas podcasting network and if you head over to their store WrestleMerch Central you can see their fantastic hardcore range of uh, hoodies and T-shirts there, their Lucha range of uh, T-shirts, hoodies and beanies there, and the more traditional 1310 and Four Corners apparel. And they sponsor such fantastic uh, UK wrestlers such as Heidi Katrina, uh, a big uh, favourite of the Wrestling Majolas podcast, and Chris Ridgway, and many, many others. And if you head over to their WrestleMerch Central store or their big cartel store, you can see the exclusive Heidi Katrina t-shirt there, uh, 1310 Heidi Katrina. And as a viewer or a listener of Wrestling Majolas, you can take advantage of our deal with 1310 uh, by going to their, their WrestleMerch Central store, 1310.merch.global, and uh, you can use the discount code 1310WMC at checkout to get yourself 10% off of all that lovely swag. Um, so 1310, fantastic sponsors of the Wrestling with Jonas podcast. Take advantage of our deal, 10% off at checkout. Use the code 1310WMC. Uh, so Jazzy, it's awesome. back over to us. So so let, let's talk about some of the talent that are involved in Zerius then. Uh, we're going to bring up some pictures. Um, a lot of them will be, dare I say, unfamiliar to some of the UK audience or some of our American and Canadian uh, listeners. But uh, maybe you can tell us a, a bit about each of these individuals. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, we've got uh, Carnage. So quite a menacing looking individual there. What, what can you tell us about Carnage? He is crazy. He is, uh, yeah, strong style. He is, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I saw him on the show and I, I said, damn, I don't want to fight with him. Like, he's brutal. <laughs> um, he, he has, well, I go like here. He has a manager on his side, Alex Wonder, and together they're like a real mean team. So I thought I need to have them on my show because they're super entertaining. They're also, like, super talented, so they will bring real good action. 100%. And sorry that we can't see all of you there, but uh, uh, this one here, Drake Destroyer. Uh, Drake the Destroyer, he's huge. Tell us about him. He, yeah, he's huge. He's from Switzerland, and he actually will fight against Carnage, poor fella, but this guy is badass too. So I think he will have no problem facing the monster Carnage. And I said it before, and I will say it again. I love big boys, and there are yeah. two of the big boys, so they will fight each other, and it's going to be crazy. That's awesome. going to be a wild match between those yeah. two. Uh, how about this individual, uh, Rick Salem? Um, That's Rick like Salem. A bit, a, um, a bit of a high flyer, but uh, what can you tell us about him? Yeah, I saw him on a show where I recently attended and he was super nice and he was super talented in the ring. So I thought I need to have him on my show. Um, you know, as a promoter, you try to bring people from the same area. And I have Christian Archer from France and he's also from France. So I thought I put him together in a car. I'm going to have them both together on my show. So this fella, um, yeah, he's super talented and I wanted him so bad on my show. So here he is. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And uh, Zara Vesta. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I think I pronounced his name right there, but another interesting individual. What can you tell us about Zara? 
Yeah, Zora Vester, um, he's a former WWE wrestler. He was big time on NXT. And yeah, he he's so smart. He speaks like five different language and he's also a tall boy. He's, uh, I don't know how you say, I think it's six foot one or something. Like okay. he's really big. And yeah, he's a kind of a newcomer. Like he's fresh, like nobody, not many people saw him. So I'm really excited to have him on my show just to show it to the world that he's like really talented and I want to give him a chance on my show. Absolutely. Am I right in thinking that uh, Rick Salem and Zara will be facing one another on your show? Absolutely. That's going to be a a great match. Uh, Stephanie Mays. Now that's a a menacing figure, a menacing picture. If ever I've seen one, what can you tell us about Mays? Stephanie Mace is the upcoming superstar for female wrestling in Germany. Like she's badass. She has this kickboxing style in uh, a big promotion here in Germany. She's facing the boys all the time, fighting for the tag team championship. She has amazing intergender matches already. Um, and yeah, I wanted her on the show. I got her and now you can see her performing and I can't wait to see her like in action again. I felt, I fought with her before, and yeah, she's badass. She's a little bit tiny, but she's super strong. So She she reminds me a bit of yourself, Jazzy. There's a little bit of Jazzy Gabba in that picture, I think. The medicine, badass, the fighter. Absolutely, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And uh, we got uh, Miss Monica. Uh, Yeah, I I think that Stephanie and Miss Monica will be facing each other, but uh, what can you tell us about Miss Monica? Yes, Stephanie Mace is going to face Miss Monica. Uh, Miss Monica, I know her since a long, long time. She's from Italy, and she actually had her first match with me. She survived. That means she's badass, too. (laughs) And she's trained... uh, I forgot how she trained with someone really important. She was in America. She trained there. And yeah, she's a great talent too. She's super friendly and she has the diva look, the yeah. superstar look. And yeah, I think they two will have like a fantastic match. And we've got, uh, wow, La Katrina. <laughs> uh, what an individual, what, Katrina, what amazing yeah. face paint. Scary lady. Uh, she has a great gimmick. And yeah, I fought with her many times. And I actually love the way how she developed. Like I met her also when she started just out. And the hard work she puts in, I believe it should be, um, you know, rewarded. And that's why I put her on my show. I think she's brilliant. She become one of the top 10 here in Germany. So I also want that the people can see her, you know, like that she gets the platform to perform in a larger audience. Yeah. And she's going up against uh, Candy Power, I understand. I, I don't have a picture of Candy Power, but... Uh, oh, what can, what Candy can you tell Power. Us about Candy? She's, yeah, Candy Power. She's like my favorite to be honest for the entrance because i thought about a really amazing entrance for her it will be super kids friendly she will have like balloons and she will like throw popcorn into the audience i'm sorry five viewers you cannot have popcorn but <laughs> <laughs> whenever you are live with us then you can have one of the candies too and yeah she's uh, from austria she's a newcomer and that's like the brilliant thing about my show i give like the veterans a chance but also a lot of newcomers so you will have a lot of pictures not ready because they're so new that they still need to get their pictures and everything out there um and i give them a chance because i saw them somewhere on a smaller show and i think they're brilliant and they need a stage to perform that's great that you're giving relatively newer um, performers an opportunity to, to mix you know mix them up with the, the experienced talent that's going to be on the show as well. But uh, what about this guy here, Joey Legend? Uh, yeah, Joey Legend Joey? is one of the veterans. He has a career of 25 years. He was uh, in WWE. And yeah, he lives uh, in Germany since a long time. He's one of my best friends. He t- teached me too, like he trained me. And without him, I wouldn't be in the position what I am now. So he helped me also, you know, like I could call him anytime. Like I can, I'd say, can you give me some creative ideas? And he always, you know, had good words for me. So I want to have him on my show too. He's a great addition. He will be my main event and he's super entertaining. And I think it's amazing that he's there and he had time to come to my show. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And he's going to be going up against Tarkin Aslan. Uh, so he tell is. us about this individual. 
Yeah, Takan is also like a young guy who's uh, really ambitious. I saw his entrance and I freaking loved it. He's in the ring since many years, I think over 10 years now. He had a lot of championship and other big promotions here in Germany. And yeah, again, he's super ambitious. He has also like a lot of creative ideas. So I wanted him also on my show because, you know, I love people who are behind, you know, like, when they are booked, he is, for example, a guy who is behind the promotion. Like, he will not wrestle just for any promotion. Yeah. He will wrestle for a promotion he really believes in. And he believes in Zerios Sports Entertainment. He helps me a lot with the promotion and stuff. So he gets a spot in the main event. He will fight against Joe Legend. Oh, wow, wow. Um, now, this guy here. Uh, Bad Bones, John Klinger, yeah. um, a, a, a fantastic individual. I think a lot of yeah. us are familiar with uh, uh, Bad Bones' work with WXW, but uh, he's going to be serious next Sunday. Yeah, if you're talking about Bad Bones, John Klinger, you talking about the best in Europe. Like, he oh. literally is. So if you want to go to a show, you cannot miss him you know like you have to have him on the show and he was actually one of the first guys i booked because he's a great addition he is so yeah he's like energetic in the ring like creative like yeah he's a great addition to the wrestling and i love to have him on the show oh he's a european legend and speaking of mm -hmm. european legends this man here i love tristan archer former guest yeah. on the show really really top guy he's had some great exposure on nxt uk over the last few months doing some wonderful things around europe and wxw and he's going to be going up against bad bones next week yeah he was also on the wwe uh, cruiserweight classic was, i think yes. right and yeah he's just a top performer like he's such a hard working guy and yeah, he come from France with uh, Rick Salem together and yeah, he will tear the house down. So Bad Bones against um, Tristan Archer, they will be they will be like the main event, but not in the main event. You know, like you need to watch this match. Like oh, it will yeah. be freaking amazing. I know it. <laughs> Back to me and you now, Jazzy. Uh, yeah. So uh, thank you for that. You can, you can sit in your throne nice and comfortable. <laughs> there you go. Um, I, I do want to bring up another picture, and it's, it's an amazing picture. Look at this. The championship Ooh, belt. Wow. How beautiful. Beauty. How beautiful is that world championship belt? So I've yeah. uh, got another quick picture of it there. But uh, an absolutely beautiful belt. Um, I'm guessing. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, yes, it's right there. It's right there in the <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. I'm chuffed. Um, but um, when did you when did you come up with the design for the belt? And I'm guessing you've had it in your possession for quite a while. Um, well, it's like it's a whole world with the titles, right? So yeah. when I when I went to how to explain, like when I went to the journey to creating this masterpiece, I went through a lot of pictures of titles from WWE, from the former, from now, from AEW, from all the titles. And I, I had an idea of a title. I wanted to have it, of course, perfect. And I went to top rope Um you know, like the yeah. who doing the belts in America. And I have to say it costs a fortune and it's super heavy and it's like really hand yeah, hand hand work. Do you say it like this? Like uh, someone hand made crafted, it. Handcrafted, yeah, handcrafted. Hand crafted, hand -crafted that's the yeah. word. I was and they helped me. Like I had an idea, you know, like of course I wanted to have it in German. So it does not say um champion or something, it's a Weltmeister, because that's the German word for heavyweight champ. Yes. And yeah, like of course, like there's a little thing I wanted different. I wanted to have it 3D, but you cannot pay for that. That's like too expensive. Um, but I'm in love with this one. You know, like together we created it, and it's super heavy. And I put it already on the pages. You know, from belt lovers, like yeah, there's yeah. such a thing like belt lovers and collectors, and they're also approved that this is like an amazing belt. <laughs> and I can't wait to give it to the first champion and I hope one day it will be like super valuable to the wrestler so they're super proud to wear it like that was like one thing that was important to me like I wanted that the wrestlers are proud to be serious champion you know so if you run around with like a cheap ass belt it would mean nothing right so yeah I gave a lot of cash to create this piece and I hope that everybody values it and you know 
yeah <laughs> well worth it well worth it and, and the pictures and it's, it's sitting right beside you it's a beautiful belt really beautiful worth every penny i'm sure um but uh, how is that championship going to be won then jazzy uh, is it going to be fought for in a match next sunday or is that something you're building up to um yeah um the belt will be um you know in the main event jewel legend against uh takan aslan one of them will wow. become champion Exciting. yeah so it's <laughs> going to be a heavyweight championship match um why them too i don't know like you know again jewel legend really deserves a heavyweight championship match um he's working since 25 years he had championships all over the world Takan Aslan, he's also a champion all over the world and he deserves also a championship match. And one of them will be champion on that day just, you know, to round the whole yeah, event, you know, to make it just perfect. Absolutely. It'll be, it'd be great to end that show with, with your first ever champion um, yeah. and uh, somebody to represent the company, somebody to uh, carry that championship through airports. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, that, that's going to be amazing. But we've had somebody else get in touch with us. Now, if you are <laughs> going to get in touch with us via um, Facebook or whatever, go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook <laughs> and enter your enter your name, enter your permission so that you can get your name and your picture on screen. Because at the moment, uh, they just come up as Facebook user, but this particular individual has uh, said, uh, "Glad to see Jazzy uh, Alpha Female Gabbett, and I'm excited to watch you back to wrestle again." So, a lot of your fans out there, Jazzy, um, eager to see back in the ring. You say that you're injured at the moment. Um, let, let's talk a little bit about your, your health because those that follow you on social media will know that you you've had a rough few months uh, wow. with injury and illness. Um, yeah. You mentioned about your, your shoulder still needing a lot of rehabilitation, a lot mm -hmm. of recovery. Um, so how far off are you from, from maybe being back in the ring or what's your current health condition then? Yeah, like I have no idea to be honest. Like I was suffering also with Corona. I got it unfortunately and it hit yeah. me really hard. So I had to even go to the hospital and now also the shoulder. So it's really tough at the moment. Um, but I try to go back to the ring, but I don't think that I will be, you know, like full time wrestler again. Um, but I want to do here and there fun things. Um, but yeah, I, I will concentrate on my acting career. Like soon there will be a movie out where I played and it's like a big, big thing. And I also want to concentrate on you know, a serious that I will be a promoter. And also if um, the Corona stuff lets us, I'm booked again as a, yeah, how you say, show act on a tour. So it would be like a three month tour where I wrestle on the stage, but not really. Like it's the same choreography we're doing, yeah. but that's like for three months, it's 28 shows. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I do have a wrestling booking, but it's like far away. It's going to be in Dubai, um, but that will be like in April or so. So I hope to then my shoulder will be okay. <laughs> and other than that, yeah, let's see what the future brings. But oh, to be honest, I'm getting old and I'm not sure if people want to see an old woman in the ring. <laughs> So I have to concentrate on other things. Yeah, but um, I, I think your fans would love to see you in the ring one more time just to kind of, uh, for serious as well, because you were meant to have, uh, maybe a, a year ago, I think you was originally penciled to face uh, Mila Smith um, yeah. on the show, weren't you? And obviously things have happened yeah, since yeah, then yeah. Uh, with Corona and, and your shoulder. But, uh, but we maybe need to see it's you back in the ring one more time. Yeah, but maybe it's for the better because on that show, I'm going to have like a spectacular outfit. Uh, like uh, I had like a hair and makeup lady. She created a, a cool headpiece and a cool bodysuit for me. And I will be, again, I will be an alien on stage and I will be wow. seen more often on stage than just for one match, you know. So I will be kind of the presenter and, you know, creating the fans and do some commentary so maybe that's like my kind of thing then but my outfit it's going to be woo, on fire it's going to be amazing <laughs> absolutely and, and tune into fight tv next sunday to uh, see uh, jazzy gabbert and the uh, serious uh, sports entertainment but um I, I was going to ask you what your role was going to be on the day and it sounds like you're going to be uh, bouncing around as the host yeah. commentating yeah. and looking yeah. after the fans and looking after the talent so you're going to be absolutely, absolutely everywhere and, and you've been doing a lot of promoting you've been in the newspaper um promoting Sirius uh you've been on tv shows you've been on 
Jono, the podcast, and now you're here on Wrestling with Jono's for the second mm-hmm. time. So it, it's been a, a journey for you, hasn't it, as far as uh, getting the word out there about Azirius, uh, promoting the show, promoting the debut on the 20th of February. Uh, you've been very active lately, uh, spreading the good word of Zerius. Yeah, I, I mean, it's my baby, you know, like, yeah. I don't want to look in the mirror and say I didn't do enough. So right now, like, my brain is going crazy. I'm like, what can I do? What can I do? But I'm, as you said, I'm in the newspaper. I'm in TV shows. I, I was on a radio show the other day. I contacted you guys to do the interview with me. So I really don't know what else I can do. Like, of course, I'm asking, you know, my more famous wrestlers if they can you know, promote too, but if they don't do it, what can I do, right? Uh, I just wish that there was more support because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just a lady (laughs) who tried to be successful. Um, The last two years were really rough for me and I just try to get back on my feet and, you know, living the dream. And at the moment, I love promoting so much. Like, it's really filling my heart again The last two years, I was kind of sad and I was like, where do I go? And nothing really was exciting. But this journey is so exciting and I love to be on TV. I love to be doing this stuff, you know, and it's my dream to do this forever and be the Don King of wrestling. I don't know. It would be awesome, you know, having colorful suits and the hair, you know, that's like my thing. And I want to bring back... wrestling to Germany that it's like super big time and I believe wrestling deserves to be on TV and that's what I'm trying to do. Absolutely you, you're going to be better than Don King you're going to be Jazzy Gabba and that's yeah. the, the, the <laughs> best wrestling promoter indeed and with your enthusiasm your, your passion um, <laughs> and your drive um, next Sunday show is going to be phenomenal and I'm sure that that's going to do wonders for your uh, morale and confidence uh, to, to put on more shows in the future for yeah. sure um, but what, what sort of advice have you had from friends in the wrestling business uh, other promoters, for example, um, in the lead up to next Sunday's debut show, uh, have you? I'm guessing that you've been in contact with a lot of pros that you've known for years, other promoters, and have you re- received some valuable advice for next week? Uh, well, I did got some advice, <laughs> but it was not what you expect. Like, for example, uh, Alex Wonder, who is the owner of COW Championship of Wrestling in Germany, he said to me. Jesse, do not spend so much money <laughs> or don't buy everyone a hotel room. And I'm like, yeah, I do, I do it. <laughs> and, you know, like stuff like this, like they're like everyone, like it's so weird. They're a little bit concerned about me um, because I'm going big time. Like I'm not starting small like most promoters would do. Or I don't know, like this is kind of advice. Or my really good friend Dan Reed from Pro Wrestling Eve, um, he told me, don't worry too much. Everything will be fine, you know. So it's really encouraging words. And everyone is really looking forward. I didn't hear any bad words now, like maybe behind my back. I don't know. But everyone I'm talking to is like excited, of course. They don't know what to expect from my show. And I think that's what's going on at the moment. Like, yeah, they see all these interviews and they're like, ah, okay, if Jesse's doing one thing, because that's what I do, right? Like if I do something, I try to do it big time. Um, And they're really excited. And yeah, they want to see me succeed, I guess. Maybe some people want to see me fail. I don't know. Um, But I think (laughs) a lot of people are just excited what I'm doing, you know, and they don't really know what to expect. And yeah, let's see. Like, watch it, then you know. <laughs> oh, 100%. And, and everything I've seen so far about Azuria Sports Entertainment is, is very colourful, very professional. Um, everything's oh, been put together you. great. You've got a fantastic lineup, a great card, an amazing venue. Um, and the theme as well uh, is going to be phenomenal. You've got live singers there, live dancers, uh, an amazing card of wrestling as well. And you. What more could we possibly, you know, you, you, it could just be you um, in that venue for uh, two hours and people would still buy a ticket, but uh, you've got oh, everything yeah. else happening as well. Uh, so it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Who else uh, is part of your team that deserves a shout out maybe? Um, you've mentioned about the commentators, but uh, uh, you say you're kind of a, a one woman band, but um, who else has been important in putting this all together for you that you might want to give credit um, on the podcast today? Oh, that's a good question. But no, seriously, I'm doing it all myself. Like oh, I, wow. 
Yeah, I, I paid a graphic designer to do like the poster and the graphics, but you won't believe it. But since a half year, he's not getting in touch with me again. So that's why I couldn't do new, you know, updated yeah. graphic designs for the matches. And I'm like, please get back to me. And I paid him, but I don't know, he didn't get back. So, um, and then the videos, you know, I did it all myself. And yeah. The only thing I can say, like, I had absolutely no idea how to do the the fight stuff, you know, the, the, the videotaping and everything. But I pay also, um, like, a video camera team from Fight24. It's like a German MMA camera team. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, they're going to help me with that. So, hi. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm doing everything myself. Like, I do have sponsors, but not, like, official sponsors. They want to get mentioned, which is also crazy, right? Um, but, yeah, <laughs> let's see if this works out. Maybe I, I'm taking too much. I have no idea. But I have a lot of friends who help me to get the, the, the wrestlers from the airport and back. Um, yeah, people like that. So, all the little ones, of course, I say every day, thank you. And at the show, I will say thank you. But they're not in public, so I don't really yeah. need to mention them. They know from my heart that I love them. And without them, that wouldn't be possible. Like, I had one one person, you know, he's backing up me financial because I don't know if it will be enough from the tickets, you know. So I say thank you so much to him. But again, he's not a public person, so I cannot <laughs> mention him. But yeah, one, so, one funny thing is like, um, I asked Masahiro Chono, my stepdad, I asked him <laughs> if he can do promotion for me in Japanese. Um, for some reason, I have no idea. He wrote a tweet and he said something, hi, Jesse Hubbard, I am Masahiro Chono, a uh, Japanese wrestler. I saw that, like, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> like, we don't know each other. <laughs> It was oh, so funny. Dear. And I asked Obviously his a wife. Mix up in communication there, I'm sure. But, <laughs> yeah, uh... I, I asked his wife because we speak every day and we speak in German, so there's no translation <laughs> issue. I said, What's happening? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, never mind. But uh, you are going to be live on Fight TV next week. Now, let's bring up this graphic there. So you look at that GCW, AEW, and Zeria Sports Entertainment. That's mind blowing. That's a pretty cool picture just it to demonstrate is. how far you know and, and it's all testament to yourself the hard work the dedication the long hours um mm -hmm. and uh, you know that the emotions that have gone into putting in serious sports entertainment um well, when i saw this when i saw this graphic i was like whoa that's unbelievable it's the same you know back in the days like when i was in the wrestlemania um magazine there was like this huge wrestlemania and there was a huge picture of me in there that's like the same thing, you know, like I'm just this tiny little jazzy girl with 18 years old who dreamed to become a wrestler. And now 25, 20 years later, I see myself in the big time, you know. So, yeah, yeah that's kind of impressive for myself, you know, like sometimes like even, you know, like the whole show when I so. I started planning zeros like two years ago, right? And I had everything sorted, but then the pandemic hit and I didn't have any income and it was super difficult paying rent and all that stuff and I was injured. So like, but the new day 22, right? It was already set, but I was like, I have no idea how to do it. Like, I don't want to push the date again. I don't want to be a failure, right? So I was like, how I do this, like I had, I had no idea, but I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to start to call the wrestlers to organize everything and everything else will fall into places. And it did, you know, like one week now, and then I can promote and I can start my first big wrestling promotion. And I don't know you, I think you cannot understand how that feels, but I'm so damn proud that I pulled this off and next week, after the show, if everything is done and it really worked out like I wanted it to be and everyone is healthy and nobody died or something, after that show, I think I will cry like a crazy person because I am so damn proud. And yeah, 
like and you I should be know. you should be you, you have to say all the hard work you should be proud and uh, i'm sure uh, when the, the championship is is raised ahead in that main event next sunday uh and then the, the feed is cut to fight tv and you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief uh, yeah. and pop open the champagne and celebrate oh, yeah. and all, all of that tension all of that uh you know the last couple of years of worrying about yeah. whether it'll get off the ground or all that tension mm-hmm. will be gone and it will just be and, uh, and you know what this is also this is also why i do this show like people always ask me why you do this why you take so much pressure on yourself like i want that everybody who's coming to my show everybody who's watching my show for three freaking hours yeah forget everything like forget the pandemic forget your worries just sit there and enjoy the show it's going to be so crazy and fantastic it's going to be not just wrestling you know it's going to be more than that it's going to be sports entertainment and this is my goal that people have a good time you know on my show like nothing else matters like nothing only having a good time Oh, 100 percent. And I think you've got some merchandise as well. You're already sporting one of the T-shirts there. You've got uh, uh, coffee mugs there and T-shirts. Where can they get this merchandise from, Jazzy? Uh, it's called SL Wrestling. And you can have my merchandise, but you also can have Zerius uh, merchandise. SL Wrestling. It's a German site, but they're also shipped worldwide. That's fantastic. And I'll I'll try and find that uh, web address and put it into the description of this podcast for anybody that wants uh, any Zerius or Jazzy Gabbert merchandise, they can do. Uh, The link will be in the description. And for the next interview, you're going to zip from the the cup, okay? (laughs) Oh, 100%. Absolutely. I'm going to be buying mine later on today. But uh, uh, Jazzy, before we let you go, uh, Mm -hmm. one one final kind of message and, and plug to anybody that's out there why should they buy Zeria sports entertainment the big band the big bang sorry the debut show next sunday why should they purchase that on fight tv tell them why come on like we talk about like about one hour why <laughs> did you not listen to the interview guys watch the show now if you like wrestling of course then buy it if you like me then buy it if you want to support me wanna like you can say okay another wrestling show another wrestling promotion but no I'm not just a wrestling promotion. I'm sports entertainment. It's something new. It's something amazing. And I support all the German and European wrestlers. And I want you to watch it. I want you to enjoy it. And yeah, just be a part of something new. And then you can say, I watched the first show. So that's why you should buy it. Absolutely. (laughs) And and I like to do this uh, with all of my guests, but especially for you, because you're a returning guest and we love you so much on the Wrestling With Jonas podcast. But if you've got a message for your fans, your your loyal and dedicated fans out there that uh, have supported you through the good times and the bad times and, uh, you know, have been following you on social media, um, what, what would you like to tell your fans out there, Jazzy? Yeah, to all the Kevins, to all the Rogers, to all the Andreas, you know who you guys are. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Like, you have no idea. I know you feel like you're a family to me, and I feel the same. You're not just fans to me. Like, we are like a connection. You are the Alpha fans, and I love you so much. Without you, I'm nothing, and you raise me up every time you support me and i thank you so much for it and i hope with this show with my energy i can repay you basically i know i don't have to you say it a million times but again thank you so much for believing in me that means the world to me Oh, 100%. Great message, Jane. You do have lots of loyal fans out there, and uh, me as well. I'm a big fan of uh, the alpha female, Jazzy Gabbard, indeed. But uh, go out there and purchase on Fight TV, Zerius Sports Entertainment, The Big Bang, the debut show from Jazzy Gabbard. Um, Zerius Sports Entertainment promises to be, um, you know, the next big thing as far as German professional wrestling is concerned, European professional wrestling. Um, and uh, it's going to be an absolutely huge show. Uh, 9.99. Um, like I say, that that's uh, a couple of drinks down the pub. You might as well save your money and have an afternoon of wrestling with Jazzy Gabba and Zeria Sports Entertainment. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'll be watching. Hopefully you'll be watching. But uh, Jazzy Gabba, it's been amazing you ha- having you back on the show again. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Catch up with you soon, Jazzy. See you.